Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're gonna do a fun little challenge out here on the water. You guys commented on some of my latest videos when I had mentioned this. I've been using these Pulse Fish swim bait jig heads here and they have a screw lock keeper. Keeps your baits on there almost all day long. You can catch a ton of bass on one bait. So why not really show you how many fish you can catch on one bait here? You guys asked, I said I would go out, I'd take one swim bait and we'd see how many fish we'd catch on one bait. So we have a pack of Divine swim baits right here. We have a Pulse Fish jig head on my rod right here. It's a quarter ounce size. We're gonna take one of these baits, we're gonna put it on that jig head, and then we're gonna fish until that thing falls apart and I can't catch a fish on it anymore. And we're gonna count how many we can catch over the course of one bait on that jig head versus using other jig heads. Uh, it'll work for Kytex, it'll work for all other kinds of baits as well. Really, this is just meant to show you the durability of putting that swim bait on that jig head and how effective it can be uh, and how much money these swim baits are gonna, these jig heads are gonna save you over time. So the Sixth Sense Divine swim bait is a very soft swim bait. So I don't wanna say it's as soft as a Kytec. These have a little bit more meaty plastic to them. So they probably will held up just a little bit better than a Kytec, uh, but we'll truly see how many fish we can get on one bait. So let's get out on the water and let's get to catching some fish. All right, so now that we talked about the rod and reel setup, what this jig head can do, how it can save you some money fishing, let's go ahead and rig this thing up. We're gonna start the challenge. We're gonna see how many fish we can catch on a single swim bait. So we have a 3.2 divine swim bait right here. That's all we got. We got this one. Obviously I have more and I have more jig heads because you can tell there's a ton of wood up here on the bank. Uh, so hopefully we can get this in one shot. But my luck, I'm gonna catch two or three fish and then get it snagged in a log and lose it. But let's see what we can do. We're gonna go ahead with this swim bait. What I like to do, I line it up so that I know where my hook needs to come out. And I'll go ahead and run it in the front here. And then these divine swim baits have a center line. So I'll go ahead and run it right down the center line. Make sure my bait's really straight. That's key with this. You come out where you marked it. And then this screw lock keeper, this is the key. You just go ahead and wind it on there like you would a shaky head worm and twist the tail around the hook. Do that a few times until you get up to the head of the bait. One more, bam. So now that thing is ready to go. It's straight, hook is sharp. We are ready to fish. So let's cast this thing around. We'll wind it around, see if we can catch us a couple. I've been seeing some fish on live scope. Uh, maybe we'll get us a big one. So let's wind it around and catch some fish and let the challenge begin. Let's see how many we can get. There's one. Oh, it's a nice one. That's a good one. Look at how clear that water is. That fish is like down there and I can still see him plain as day. He has this thing absolutely choked. Okay, that thing is in there. Okay, so that is fish number one right there. Literally unscathed swim bait right there. So got one, let's see if we can get some more. Let's see if we can get us another one. Maybe there's more down there. Hopefully another big one like that, that would be nice. There's another one. He's a little guy. Jeez, he's going crazy though. Okay. He's like slaughtering this swim bait, trying to make this challenge tough for me, huh, buddy? It's not gonna be that easy. Number two, good one. Swim bait looks crazy, but watch what happens here. Swim bait looks all jacked up, right? Like you can't fish it anymore. It's just cause he twisted it around the hook. Twist it right back into place. Boom, we're ready to go again. Let's catch another one. Oh, that one smoked it. Got him that time.
Come here, dude. Got you. That's not a bad one either. Came back, smoked it, missed him, kept reeling. He came right back and got it again. Look, chew marks all over the bait. Still fishable though. Well, that's, well, there's at least two more fish in that bait, I'm sure. So we got our bait here, twist it back into place. You can see it's starting to wiggle a little bit here. That's okay. It can still do that. It'll be completely natural. And the head is what you're most worried about. So that screw lock is keeping that head on solid all the way through the body so that you don't break off the swim bait as much. So we'll get it back out there and we're gonna keep on going. Maybe I'm too close, I don't know. There's one. That one ate it on the fall. Come here, buddy. Don't destroy my swim bait. All righty. That's number four. That one's not a big one, but they're starting to chew it up. Okay. Check my line, make sure we're all good. This thing is absolutely getting chewed on. It's got teeth marks everywhere, but it's still ready to go. So let's catch another one. There's one. It feels large. He's not that big. I'm gonna grab him just to save my swim bait. There's another one, number five on the same swim bait. And I still think we can catch even more. That swim bait is still good to go. I mean, it's barely hanging on, but we caught five fish already on one swim bait. I think we can get even more. There's one. Come here, buddy. That is number six. He's like a golden one. He looks crazy. All right. Not a bad one, but he's not gonna call anything out. So we'll throw him back. Number six. I'm gonna say this is still fishable. So I'm still throwing it. We're gonna see if we can get number seven. There's a big one. Not as big as I thought, but we'll take them. Come here, bud. Hey, got you. Ugh. I'm not even joking. I can catch another fish on this swim bait. We're, I think this is fish number seven. I think this swim bait has one more in it. We'll see. All right, so here is the major benefit of this spring lock keeper. My bait is all the way ripped down into here. But because of that spring lock keeper, that meat of that head is still stuck up on there really, really well. I think I can get one more fish out of this. So we'd be at like eight fish with one bait, which is absolutely crazy. So let's see if we can do it. There's one, it's big. It's big. Come here, buddy. Gotcha. Look at that one. Nice fish. And she finally toasted my swim bait. Put the old swim bait right there in her mouth. Hook perfectly in there. That hook goes right through the top of their mouth gets behind their jawbone and stays on. Uh, we're gonna weigh this fish up. Look right there. You can see that swim bait has finally basically fallen off the head. So if I push on this just a little bit, that screw's starting to come out. And that is finally a toast swim bait. So I think we caught eight or nine fish, almost double digits, which is crazy on one swim bait. 
Um, so if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my fishing videos coming up. And if you want to learn about that finesse swim bait technique, go ahead and check this video out right here. Thanks for watching.